Hello, my name is John Dole, and um, this is the Ghost Layers Report, right here coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. Okay, now we're going to talk about combat liberalism a little bit, because apparently it's been made very clear to me that we do need to talk about this. Now, what, you, what when communists speak of liberalism, we're not talking about in the way that you may understand. We're not talking about the pop culture um, idea of liberalism or the bourgeois idea of liberalism or any of that. When we speak of liberalism, we're referring to a form of selfishness and laziness. An idea that to get along, to get along, we shouldn't say anything. should not speak up. We should not correct people. When they are clearly wrong and being reactionaryism. For example, when someone makes a racist statement, we, you know, if we don't say anything, we don't speak up to that, you know, that makes us no better than non communist. That makes us, again, a liberal. Okay? And like I said, I think I've defined want us communists to consider as liberalism. Okay? Now, I've had a lot of responses recently. A lot. And I've been under heavy attack. That's why we're making this video. To go into the idea of combat liberalism. You know, when someone makes ridiculous claims. When someone is incorrect and their thinking and their logic, when someone falls right back into revisionism, reactionaryism, it is a duty of a communist to speak up and say something. And if we don't, again, we're no better than other non-communists. Let me give you another example that you may understand a little bit more. Let's say that you are at the workplace. And someone, and you're, you can see the contradictions going on, but in capitalism and the social alienation being caused by it. You know, you walk into work and you've had a very emotional day. Or you had a very emotional day the, the past day. And you need a little extra leeway given to you that day. And the manager says to you, I don't care about your problems. I'm here to make a profit. Leave your emotions at the door. That's incorrect thinking. Because when someone is working at a job place, or you hire someone, you've hired all of them. They're in complete essence as a human being. So it's wrong to say, leave your emotions at the door. That's creating social alienation. That's just disconnecting the human being, from their job and their life. So you have a responsibility to speak up at that point and say, no. You know, you don't treat me that way. You don't dehumanize me that way. It's incorrect to say, I should forget that I'm human when I come into the job place. I should di disconnect myself from myself all for the benefit of capital profit. No. I am here to work today. And I'm here to work to the best of my ability each and every day I come in. But that ability will fluctuate depending on what's happening in my life and depending on what's going on in my life and the job I come to. All those who are there are responsible for me. And I am responsible for them. And, you know, that goes on so much. But that may not be enough to get you to understand the concept of combat liberalism. So let's go into a little bit more. You see, we must work out our differences among each other. We must maintain that human connection that is natural and normal for human beings. When there is a problem or there is an issue, it must be brought up. And it must be discussed and it must be settled. And I've had so many people tell me 
to shut up, to not speak out when there are issues and there are problems that do need to be talked to and talked about and settled and resolved. Nobody wants to deal with it because of liberalism. That selfishness, that laziness, that maintaining your personal agenda and your own personal opinion. You are damaging the collective. You are damaging society as a whole when you do that. You're not helping anything. Now me, by speaking up on a variety of issues, on a routine basis, that's improving society. That's build, helping to build a better society. Because I am willing and have no problem bringing up key issues and key problems that we as human beings must resolve and settle. But no, no, no. We are infected. We are poisoned by liberalism. Where everyone wants to maintain their little tiny agenda. Nobody wants to come out and admit these things. No one is willing to self-criticize, to rip open their chest and look inside themselves and examine themselves and their own weaknesses, the own damage they do to other human beings. Nah, nah, nah. You want to rely on your egos and your pride and all of these things. But you see, the thing is, I do practice combat liberalism. I self-criticize myself all the time. Up here. I question myself. I doubt myself. I analyze myself. And I see where I'm going wrong. The things I'm doing is not okay. If I say or take an action that is not good, I examine that. And I put an effort into correcting myself. That is what's necessary to create a more human, connected society. And if anyone is unwilling to do that, then you are effectively useless. You're no good to anyone. You're a reactionary. You are a liberal. So what should we do with you? Really? What can we do with you? You know? Think about that. Think about that the next time you, you know, want to be reactionary and go off and defend things that are clearly ineffective and defend things that are clearly not working and defend things that are creating contradiction instead of resolving contradiction. So you take that to heart if you are able to. You can throw away your ego and your pride and examine yourself honestly. You must self-criticize, self-criticize, and then self-criticize some more. Every action you take, every thought you have, you must doubt it. And you must look to the connection you have to other human beings and how your words and actions affect all those involved and if what you're saying and doing is truly good or correct and you can't always rely on just your own conclusions when you self-criticize you must look to others who also self-criticize and examine themselves. You cannot look towards a reactionary 
or someone practicing liberalism. They will not be a guide to you. They will not help you. All they're going to do is excite emotional reaction from you. Get you to be selfish in your heart and your mind. Okay? That's right. The heart and the mind are interconnected. That's another part of something I may get into someday. So I thought this video was worth making to make a few comments on combat liberalism and just how important it is. So again, I know a lot of you are again going to attack this video. Have fun with it. Say whatever you want to about me. Because if it is just reactionaryism and it's just liberalism, from this point forward, I'm not going to bother with it. Okay? So until next time, this is me, John Doe, in Tokyo. Checking out.